Hello and welcome back everybody to another YouTube video. In today's video I will explain and solve the problem set 6 pizza. So in this problem we want to implement a program that expects uh, only one command line argument, the name of a CSV file in uh, Pinocchio's format and outputs a table formatted as ASCII art using uh, a package called tabulate. So here we have uh, two CSV files. Uh, to test uh, on and let's start here with importing uh, the package tabulate and let's also import sys since we are going to uh, use the command line arguments and let's also import csv to read uh, these files and uh, work on them so first um, let's take uh, or let's check for <coughs> a command line argument so let's uh, first check if the user inputs uh, a command line argument so if the length of the arguments are equal uh, to 2 uh, because the name of the file is also stored so if that's the case we want to try uh, and open uh, the file which uh, is the command line argument the first the second command line argument so one and open it as file and uh, let's now use the csv uh, package to uh, to read our uh, file so let's make a variable called reader and use csv dot dict reader and pass in the file so um, uh, this dict reader uh, 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 stores stores the uh, the data in the reader uh, variable uh, in a format like uh, it's a dictionary and the values are uh, the first uh, row here so actually let me just print uh, every element in this uh, variable reader just to make to be clear for uh, row in reader let's print the row okay i want i would just want to, you to have an idea of how the data is stored okay uh, sorry let me specify uh, a file so regular.csv okay we are doing something wrong oh my bad here we didn't complete sorry uh, we didn't uh, add except so except if the file uh, is not found Uh, let's exit and uh, print a message uh, file not found okay let's try again okay now it's uh, printing out uh, every element in our uh, variable here so uh, the first row in our file is the keys uh, of in our dictionary here so regular pizza the first key and small is our second key and dodge is our third key so now after reading uh, the data in a variable we want to uh, use this uh, package here to uh, uh, print it in a format uh, like this okay let me print it out i'm not sure if i can print it okay i can actually okay in this format so uh actually tabulate have a function called uh, tabulate and we will we will do something like that we will need to uh, edit some parameters okay but let's first remove this for loop and uh, use uh, uh, the tabulate uh, package okay so let us uh, make another variable called table and we will store or actually we don't need to uh, make another variable let's just call the function 
and uh, and print it. So print and tabulate dot tabulate. So we need to pass in the data that we are going to uh, put in our table. So let's pass in reader. Okay, before editing some parameters, let's see what uh, this uh, will output. So as you can see, it's not really uh, as the format that we want. And if you also notice, the first row is removed. Which is here, the regular pizza and so on. So uh, there is a parameter here called header. And uh, we will tell this parameter to uh, make our header uh, the keys of our uh, reader here. So this should now uh, put uh, the first uh, row here, which are the keys of uh, our dictionary, uh, at the first uh, in the first uh, line here, or before this. Okay, we will see in a second. So let me just print and see. And the header is invalid keyword. Okay, it's actually headers. So let's try again. It's also invalid. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm. I shouldn't. Uh, okay, let me explain. This is like uh, editing the print function or editing a parameter in the print function. If I want to edit a parameter, uh, I should include it in this uh, function here. So the parameter is in the function tabulate. So it's uh, my error here. So let's try again. Okay, finally it's working. Uh, because we uh, uh, at first we we were editing a parameter in the print function, and the print function has no parameter called headers. And we needed to uh, put uh, uh, this uh, inside uh, the tabulate uh, function. Okay, uh, now we included the headers, but this is also not the format that we want. The format that we want is actually called grid. And there is also another parameter um, called uh, table. Table format and uh, uh, an option that we can uh, use or a format that, can, that we can use is called the grid, which is the format that we want to uh, implement or the format that the program is asking for, uh, the problem is asking for. So now let's try again. Okay, now it's exactly how we want it, uh, it's in the grid format and our uh, headers are our keys so now i think we are done but uh, let me just add some conditions here uh, uh, for uh, the user if the user uh, doesn't input any command line arguments or too many command line arguments or too few so let's add those conditions so let's start uh, with checking if there is too few command line arguments. So if it's less than two, we want to exit and print too few com command line arguments. And let's copy this uh, for our second condition which if it's too uh, many and uh, we also want to check if the file uh, has the extension uh, csv so if the user inputs a command line argument we want to check if uh, if this uh, command line argument uh, is a file that ends with a csv so if sys.argv and our second element in our list and this returns a string so we are going to uh, slice this string uh, so we are going to slice the last uh, three characters and let's check if it's equal to csv 
and if that's the case we will continue uh, in this block of block of code and uh, let's add another condition here but in the in this if statement not outside uh, which checks if it's not like that so we, uh, we can actually just uh, type else and sys dot exit not a csv file okay let's check if our if those are working so let's not provide any command line arguments uh, this should output too few okay i forgot uh, okay sorry for that let's try again too few command line arguments let's uh, type too many so okay too many let's provide a file without the extension and see okay not a csv file yeah i think we checked for all uh, let's also check if uh, this is still working and this time let's uh, test on this file here so python pizza and uh, this file okay it's also working with the right format so we are done here so yeah that's the end of today's video thank you for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and see you next time